This is a continuation of the word I gave earlier about the crowning of Esther and the horns prophecy of Zechariah and the prophet Daniel. I shared how the Lord revealed how Esther was crowned on the first of Tevet. God has led me to further understanding of what the constellation Jedi uh, represents, which represents the month of Tevet. Um, that is the constellation in the heavenlies during the month of Tevet, that is Capricorn. And that constellation, the constellation Capricorn represents the story of King Saul and King David. And it represents Israel's rejection of Yahweh as their king because they wanted a human king. They wanted out of the flesh. They wanted a king in the flesh so they could be like the other nations. And so God gave them the desires of their heart and gave them a man of flesh who we know began to disobey the Lord and was removed by God and replaced with David. And the constellation of Capricorn also represents the pursuit, Saul's pursuit of David and the many sorrowful experiences in David's life. So this month really is representing kind of the rags to riches story. Um, David, we know he, he was the underdog. Esther was definitely the underdog of her story. And they ended up being chosen by God to take a royal position, a position of authority, power, and governing in the entire nation that they were, um, appointed over. So looking further into the constellation of Capricorn, God is saying and illustrating illustrating that the crowns are being removed from the Sauls and being placed on the Davids. The Esthers are being crowned, the Davids are being crowned, and the Sauls are being removed. Everyone that has stood in opposition of you taking your place and fulfilling the purpose God has called you to is about to be removed out of the way so that you can lay hold of the crown. Now the month of Shevet or the constellation Dili known as Aquarius is the constellation if you look at the constellation, the, the meaning behind it, what it displays is the judgment that was poured out on the southern kingdom of Judah is in the sign of Dili. And we are carried forward to the end of the reigns of the kings of Judah during this time because of their wickedness in forsaking Yahweh to serve other gods. Judgment was poured out on the southern kingdom of Judah by King Nebuchadnezzar. In the month of Shavuot, in the sign and constellation of Dili, judgment was poured out on the house of Israel. And they were scattered. They were conquered by their enemies and they were scattered under judgment for their disobedience and their unfaithfulness and for the seeking after foreign gods. But in the same month that the house of Israel came under judgment in the Old Testament and were, were scattered throughout the earth, God, we sp I spoke about this earlier, how God is going to strike a blow in this month. In under the sign of this constellation, he is going to strike a blow to the horns, which are the nations that scattered the house of Israel and who still to this day are against the house of Israel and who are oppressing the house of Israel. And God is 
in the same month in which they lost their way and lost their identity and was scattered throughout the earth, God is now redeeming the house of Israel and restoring their priesthood and gathering them from the four corners of the earth, starting in this month of Shavuot uh, under the constellation Dili in the constellation of Aquarius. I find it so beautiful how these particular time periods on the uh, timetable of the Lord in Old Testament times where the people of God went astray, where they went under judgment. Now, our generation, this end time generation, we as the house of Israel and as the kingdom priests of God are being redeemed from the bondage and the judgment that our forefathers um, came under and we are the generation in which are being liberated out of that bondage and we're actually redeeming the time God is using us to redeem the time and he is reversing the curse and he is doing this in the same exact time and season in which the house of Israel went under the curse is the very time and season and time of year that he is reversing the curse. And so it's absolutely amazing what we're about to see the Lord do. He's about to um, do something so amazing. It's going to shift the globe. It's going to shift everything. Uh, the first will be last and the last will be first. And the wealth of the wicked will be dispersed to through the hands of the righteous. And we will go forth in our governmental assignments so that we can we can gather God's people. We can um, restore proper function and order the way God always intended it to be before the ministers of the house of the Lord became perverted and went astray and picked up the ways of the idolaters. And um, now God is removing um removing he's cleaning house judgment begins with the house of the lord we are under judgment but judgment always is in favor towards the righteous and so if we are found righteous and walking purely ministering purely and not with selfish motive not out of our own understanding or from peer pressure of what what other people want. See so many ministers and ministries that will not allow the word of the Lord to go forth because they want to keep their picture perfect, uh, corporation, Christianity, religious system looking nice and pretty. And how they they want it nice and pretty and neat and um, where it's going to get everybody to come in and feel comfortable and everyone to want to be a part of the clique and want to fit in. Um, God is getting rid of all that. We're, we're moving in the real authentic power of God and we're going to see uh, the, the changing of the guards. And so get ready for a great display. God is about to shake the globe. He is going to make headline news. Everything is about to change. From the months of December to February, be on high alert. Be, I am so excited. I am so excited. Is I am so refreshed by this word that the Lord dropped for me today.
and I hope you are as well and that you take it seriously.